Welcome back to day three of the US Open, live from Philadelphia, the Isle Inspector National Squash Center. Once again, we're hosting the squash from the East Glass Court. Line up today, Nader Abbas will kick off in an all-Egyptian encounter. The confidence is certainly there. And I agree with you, she feeds off the pace. Um, Quite well, She's technically very, and up. very solid. You can see that. Four-two. No relation to Mohammed Abbas, who's the coach of Hani. Oh, oh goodness me! That's wow. an unbelievable movement from Abbas and from Two Al Hamami. It's an extraordinary rally. This one. Well, she didn't put down. <laughs> There's the screen. That was physical, very physical. Some. Outrageous gets from our bass. Six eight. That might release a few more nerves for El oh, Mami. Game ball. Down. And that is a poor error Seven, from a very strange game position. About leads, one so game to love. El Hamami goes off court. Frustrated. Certainly angry after that. 17 minutes between these two Egyptian girls, same age, very familiar. And it's Abbas that's leading the cause. Get up. Hand out, 5 4. Still got the feeling it's hanging somewhat in the balance for Alami. Error rate is just very, oh. very high today. I mean, that was forced, obviously. She had to move around her opponent, and the ball was very tight to that side wall. Six, seven. Three game balls for El Hamami to equalize in this first match here on the East Court. Down. 11-7, game to Hamami, one game all. One game all in this ladies' affair. It's also one game all on the West Court. James Woolstrop and Mohamed Abulga. Woolstrop taking the first in that one. Well, El Hamami has responded. Squeeze. I mean, she's really taken Four out two. all the angles of her of her game, Abbas. I'm so used to seeing her play the trickle boast from the front. She keeps her two-point cushion here, Abbas. Critical time. There's that movement coming in, Hania El Hamami. Oh yeah. my goodness, oh. she didn't get this though. No, she's okay. That was a pretty he hefty movement. Thank you. Look at that. So the no let being given, El Mami managing 12, 10, to shut Hamami out Abbas in a tense affair here on the East Court. El Hamami now leading two games to one, 42 minutes of play so far in this first match here on the East Court. Gets it from the Down. back. Oh, and she misses. Hand she did out. the hard work Three, pushing two. Abbas right into that back right corner. Gets this loose ball. Not the confidence that we usually see in Hamami. Three. Well, 
Looks like El Hamami now starting to make a bit of a run. So six match balls for El Hamami to book her place into the quarterfinals tomorrow. She's done it. That was very good. Four match to Hamami. Three games to one. It was an early affair with the familiarity Nine, 11, 11, between seven, the two 12, players. 10, El Hamami. In the initial phase of the match, making a lot of unforced errors. 3 1 victory for the number three seed. Welcome back for this next match, the third match. Another all Egyptian encounter in the women's competition here on the East Court. Norel Shabini taking on Nadine Shaheen, the Sandstorm. For love. Yeah, it's perfect length from Shabini. She's certainly up to a game here from a second round. That's a bit of a whiff. It was. Out, that's two, the accuracy ten, that Shaheen ball. needs to try and promote consistently close to the sidewall tight. Oh, my word. Well, here we 11 go. 11 2, game to Sherbini. Sherbini leads one game to love. Norel Sherbini. Looking very, very sharp. Five minutes in duration, one game to love lead in this all Egyptian affair. Handout 5 4. And out six nine. I'm actually seeing quite uh, an improvement in, in the movement into the front two corners from Shabini. She's been like late. that for the last couple of tournaments. Yeah, yeah. you can see it there. The, the, she's moving up there quicker with a bit more 11, strength six, in the lunge. More strength in the lunge. Yeah, yeah. and we're not seeing the strapping on the leg. I'll tell you what, PJ. You could easily be the next Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> My dear Watson, could be right. Six minutes in duration in the second, 11-6 on the scoreboard. It's now Shabini cruising through at two games to love. Retrieving, oh, it's clever. It's good awareness again from Shabini. A knowledge of the open space on the and court really is one. almost like a sixth sense. Yeah. Eyes, eyes in the back of the head. Oh, that's oh terrific. my goodness me. I mean, knowledge by Shabini. Yeah, I mean, it's a great shot from Shabini, tight ball, but Six, this seven. backhand volley drop. I mean, she's not played badly at all here, she. Three match balls for the Warrior Princess, taking on the first opportunity. Shirbini, three games to love. 11-2, 11-6, 11-7. Clinical performance from Norel Shabini. 11-2, 11-6, 11-7. The number one seed cruises through to the quarterfinals by three games to love. Well, welcome back for the evening session here. US Open. Third round. Quick run through the lineup for this evening. On court, we've got the number two seed and world number two from Egypt, Noran Gohar taking on Alison Waters of England. Straight through to the back, it doesn't bounce up much. No let. Played a winning shot and you've gone straight into the back of her. And out, 4-9. So clear and concise dis explanation there from Jason Foster. Nice. Well, <laughs> I mean, this goes without saying. <laughs> on. Do I need to kind of reiterate that, really? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. That was a and little out. bit better. I think she actually and chopped and across four. that a little bit quicker. Game bit more ball. head speed. Six game balls. Yeah, you can see there a little bit more of an open racket yeah. face. Chopping that in, staying shorter. 11-4, game to go. <laughs> Regardless Gohar of what Waters leads. does here, Gohar has an answer. I mean, she's taken the pace off of it, slightly over hit on the cross court, then absolutely walloped into that front right-hand corner. And it's the number two seed coming through the first 11-4. She leads Alison Waters by one game to love. Because when they're ghosting, they, they're used to going to the same point time after time. Out. May play a let here. No, I saw it hit the bottom part of the line. See. Unfortunately, we can't. Oh, it's just in. Ooh. It's just in. And out, 7-4. I would like to see a ref actually retract and um, change his mind there, the uh, play a let ball. Clever, just clips it off the and top of her toes to on the half ten. volley there, Waters. Good hands. Yeah, again, anything here. She's very, very talented. Right? It's good work from Waters. Yeah. And there's the error. That was the sitter. And there's Game the frustration. She knew it was an opportunity. Two games to love. It's an opportunity miss there for Waters. Very much improved second game from her, but she still leads Noron Gohart by two games to love after 20 minutes. She's gone for the review. I'm not sure she's going to get too much joy here because yeah, Alison Waters has clearly hit. She's hit yeah. her opponent there. Hand out three four. As she's on the way through. She's unlucky there. She's not going to get anything from it, but and out, eight, five. it's worth an ask. Match to Goha, three games to love. 11 4, 11 8, 11 5. 34 minutes in duration 11 4, 11 8, 11 5. The number two seed cruises through to the quarterfinals against Alison Waters of England by three games to love. Well, welcome back after a very short break. Both players on the court, very sharp here. It's Amanda Sobey. World number three against Olivia Fichter, her compatriot. One of the great things about Amanda Sobey at the moment is that she's been very um, authentic. She, she describes herself as try, uh, trying to be authentic in her dealings with with us and when she chats to us after and, and on social media too. That is a wonderful pick out of the air. She Nine, has said that she is tired. Um, this is her last event. She's choosing not to play in Qatar. Nine game balls for Olivia Fichter. Well, there's the error. Quick fire first game in favour of Olivia Fichter. I don't think anyone would have predicted that. She means business, does Fichter. 
just four minutes. Amanda Sobey never really getting started. 11-1. Oh, this is something special. Six, Look at that. Amanda Sobey. It's that dangerous forehand punching it down the line, glued to the sidewall. The nine minutes second game, it's the response we would have expected. Amanda Sobey taking it 11 8. She's leveled this match. One game apiece. Yeah. On the other glass court, the glass court west. Well, Sobey looking drained here. What she got left? I'm sure she'll be fighting, but it's just the body language. You see the wheels have come off slightly. No, stop. Tony just came ball. She's so in her zone. He's off. Nice 10-3. Need one more point. Perfect. And no matter how much you want to walk off that court, you you aren't allowed until you do reach 11. Victor. Well, look at that from 5 3. It was all about Olivia Victor. She just raced through. When Amanda Sobey is kind of Ging herself up, you get some kind of come on. Who wasn't there, though? What though she's fighting, you can see, yeah, see the movement here. She's really trying to push to get what she can out of it. Left stranded there, and out you can see she's really trying to get her four. feet working in terms of getting in and out of the shot. Smart choice. See what though, Victor's got Nine to get back to seven. basics. What she can't do is just throw the ball into the, the front of the court from the back. Never mind half a tank full, she's running on empty. 11 8, game to Sobey. Well, there you go, all. from nowhere, from the brink, Amanda Sobey has dug incredibly deep and closed out that game. Living up to her nickname, Southpaw Sobe. So 31 minutes, 11-8 that fourth game. We're level at two games all. There's a bit more work to do now. And of the two, Amanda Sobe's been in this position a bit more. This has it all, Lee. Oh, wow, that was brave. The shot and a half from Victor. Hand out. Packed out here now. Nine, eight.
11-9. Well, that's a Fixer. huge victory for Olivia Fichter. Three games to two. What a match between these two Americans and the Soviet. Acknowledging the performance of her compatriot. I have to say, Olivia Fichter did incredibly well to, to hold her nerve when Amanda Sobey was coming back at her in that fifth game. 11-9, 43 minutes. Highly entertaining, competitive stuff.